Hey guys, it's Lisa, and welcome to my channel. Uh, today, we're going to um, make over some thrifted items, and we're going to start with this metal plate. I love that it has all this um, scalloped edging around the outside, and I love that it's metal. Uh, and I did love this color, but it's almost like a periwinkle, and that's not what I'm going for here. So I'm using a dusty blue from Dixie Belle, and I'm not sponsored by Dixie Belle, but I do put two coats of, uh, of this color on front and back and let it dry and now I'm adding a white wax so I'm just brushing that white wax on and wiping it off and I do that on the front and the back and then I let it dry now after I let this dry then I'm gonna add a stencil to it and I started to tape this down to keep it still uh, but the tape just wouldn't hold the, because of the way this plate is made. So I'm just going to have to very carefully hold this stencil in place. And I don't want the whole stencil. I want to leave the grains off. Uh, so I'm just taking the color drop cloth. And that's also a Dixie Belle color. And I'm not sponsored by Dixie Belle. But uh, I, I do like their colors. And I love their coverage. So here I'm just doing uh, this stencil in the drop cloth. And um, I, th I think that made a really big difference in this plate. Now we're going to move to move on to a birdhouse. And this birdhouse I thrifted. Uh, it wasn't in the best of condition. I think it might have been made of uh, pressed wood. And the pressed wood had gotten some, uh, I guess, some water damage. And you could just tell around some of the edges. Uh, but I didn't really mind that because uh, I'm going to give this kind of a rustic look anyway. My plan here was to uh, to paint the birdhouse in the dusty blue and then trim it out in the white. And as you can see, I've already painted it here. And then, uh, then I decided that uh, I didn't really want to, to do two colors here. And I just decided to go ahead and paint the whole thing in white. So I gave this entire birdhouse uh, two coats of this Dixie Belle in the color drop cloth. And then uh, once I let that dry, then, uh, then I'm ready to move on to the next step. And the reason I decided to do just one color here is because, uh, like I said, this was just really rustic and really... Um, I mean, it's hard to tell here, but there were some places that just were damaged, and and I felt like it needed kind of a freshening. And and birdhouses, especially when you paint them white, I don't I don't know what it is about p painting a birdhouse white, but I feel like it just really freshens it up. So I just halfway through it decided that it was just best to paint the whole thing white. Then I take my sandpaper and just really scuff it up well. Um, if I had thought about painting this all white, uh, I, I probably would have maybe put some candle wax on it so it would be easy to scrape a bunch of this off because I feel like in this case when the bird house is already uh, kind of rough, the more I rough up this paint, the better it will look. And then uh, I give this... Uh, a coat of clear coat. I just uh, sprayed the Rust-Oleum clear coat on it. Now this was a thrifted candlestick and I forgot to show the before of this one but I've just painted it the drop cloth also and now I'm putting on a uh, you could put a white wax I'm mean, gonna clear wax on here but I already had the white wax out so I just decided to go over this with a white wax and then uh, I'm gonna do some light distressing on this also and I'll just do that with sandpaper because uh, you can water distress but only if you haven't clear coated after and I use that wax so I'm just uh, doing it with sandpaper and I don't know what happened to the footage of me adding the stamps but I did add some stamps to that birdhouse I'm sorry that I I lost that somehow uh, so now I'm moving on to this sugar mold um, there's a couple of different types of sugar molds that I've seen, and this is just one that for a while was really popular, 
and I think they probably mass produced these. I, I seriously doubt that they're old. Um, but, um, so I'm just giving this a couple of coats of white because uh, for a while I sold these in my store, but but lately, and, and probably for the last couple of years, I, I just haven't had much luck selling them, so I feel like they needed to be updated. And I don't know if you've seen any of my videos in the past where I use one layer of a napkin to decoupage with, but you know, if you can find decorative napkins, then you can just decoupage, decoupage that right onto your piece and um, and you don't really see that one layer of napkin very much. But I didn't want to commit to just this just being a spring item. So um, on one side, I'm just going to uh, stamp this B on. And I think this stamp is the Queen B. Uh, and, I, and I'm thinking that it's a redesigned stamp. Uh, but don't hold me to that. I'm pretty sure that it is. So, uh, so I'm just going to stamp that on one side so that when it isn't spring and you want to use this uh, for decor, you'll have, you know, another side besides just that hello spring. So then I go over this with uh, some sandpaper. Uh, I could have at this point just uh, used a wet wipe a baby wipe and uh, just water distressed it but you know, I wanted quite a bit of distressing on these edges so I just went ahead and went with some sandpaper and then I'll go over it with a wax now generally I would use a clear wax here but uh, I've already got my white wax out and got my brush in that so I'm just going to use a white wax here and just wipe it off well uh, where the stamp and the decoupage is. And it was a little bit harder to wipe off on this decoupage, so I, I would recommend white wax here, but I was able to get it uh, to where you could see that really well. So, uh, but, you know, I would have rather used clear wax. And, and a lot of times, if you go over something with a white wax, and it does hide your image too much or you get too much of that white wax on it, just take some clear wax and put over it and it'll help that wipe off much better. So once I get this clear coated, then, uh, then I'm ready to add some decor into that top. I think that part of the reason that these um, sugar molds don't sell real well is people don't really know what to do with them. That's why I think staging items is is almost as important as creating them because, uh, like I said, there's just so many people that just don't really have any idea how to display. Uh, they know what they like, they just don't know how to get there. So um, here I am just uh, taking the uh, the top layer off a napkin and I'm just going to decoupage this right onto these eggs. It's hard to find uh, decorative napkins in stores that you really like. Sometimes you will look up on, on some, especially during the holidays, uh, but Amazon has a, a good supply. And, but just keep in mind, uh, on Amazon and Etsy, when you're buying these decorative napkins, look at the number because sometimes they're only selling two or three napkins and I just don't feel like that's a very good value uh, but um, but a lot of times you can buy them by the whole pack and uh, as far as stores go uh, I've had the most luck with uh, with Marshalls. Marshalls has some really pretty napkins sometimes. So I just need to do two eggs here because I only have two holes there in the top and these are larger eggs. So I get both of those done and then I'm just going to add some, uh, a mixture of mosses here. Now usually I just use Spanish moss, uh, but I was almost out of Spanish moss. So I did just kind of a mixture of mosses here. And that's really all I'm doing to stage this item is just put that in. And I'm not, not going to glue it because, again, I don't, uh, I don't want it to be limited to spring. Um, but, you know, I do feel like it helps them uh, know how to display it. And then we'll move on to our next item. And I didn't get a before picture of this. I don't know how I didn't do that. But it's just a little... 
uh, faux watering can. I think it might even be made out of wood, and it had it had an arrangement in it that couldn't be taken out. So, uh, and I would have taken it out if I wasn't going to use it, but because I wanted, I I really liked the look of it. So I just took a sock and cut the top off of it and just kind of wrapped that around there, and uh, that protected those flowers for me to paint. And this little piece was easy because I just, after I did a couple of coats of the uh, the uh, drop cloth, and I don't think I mentioned that before, the color I'm using is drop cloth and the Dixie Belle. And uh, after I get a couple of coats of that and let it dry, then I'm just going to add this little stamp here. And I feel like any stamp will do here as long as it fits. I plan on having a special treat for you guys in my next video, hopefully in the next couple of days. Uh, but my granddaughter is going to come today and help me in the shop. She loves to help in the shop. And she's just always been my biggest cheerleader. And she has such a sweet heart. I know you'll love her. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. And God bless you and your family.